James, that was a heavy defeat, wasn't it? Yeah, disappointing uh, three days. Um, yeah, we were outplayed from the go, really. Obviously, losing the toss, and they got plenty out of the pitch on that morning of day one, and we, yeah, we we didn't play it very well. We, you know, probably played at a number of balls we shouldn't have done, um, and then you know, behind the game straight away, and I think you could see a bit with the bowlers there was a bit of a hangover from that. Well, not just a Gloucester game, but the previous three games. So. Um, you know, we came out and had a crack, and then you know the game as they got ahead. You know, it's more about making sure that our, our bowlers we're going to have enough in the tank for for Somerset next week. So, um, not that we gave up on the game, but um, you know, particularly Abo and, and Mo have done a lot of hard work in the previous three weeks. Um, so yeah, a case of you know trying to keep them relatively fresh in a game where we were so bar- so far behind after day one. It was you know unlikely we were going to be able to to get anything out of it we you know they seem to get the ball to swing we've probably got you know more nip bowlers and the, the pitch didn't really nip much it more sort of swung um, which is how they got their wickets so yeah credit to them we we're outplayed from the word go but um, you know we've done a lot of played a lot of good cricket in the previous three matches so um, the only blessing is here we got an extra day off so we can regroup and make sure we come hard and fresh against Somerset. 92 in the first innings, fair enough. But after they scored 560, would you have hoped from more than 179 second time around? Yeah, absolutely. At the start of the day, you know, we we said we're probably needing to about five sessions, which we've we've done or been in a position to do in pretty much every game this year. So, um, you know, there's belief there, and guys have done it this season already. So, uh, you know, we did believe we could get something out of the game, but um, you know, that session just before lunch, I think. You know, the way Kemar bowled, a few a few decisions went against us. Dutchy there, um, you know, probably going down the leg side by a couple of stumps. But um, to to be four down at at lunch, um, you know, obviously the game was pretty much done at that point. But so yeah, we you know, there's a few sort of key sessions in the game where we we lost, you know, two, three, four wickets without the, the scoreboard going anywhere, and it's something we've done really well in the first three games of the season built big partnerships and um, we just yeah couldn't get going this week so disappointing um, I don't want to get too down about it as I say we played a lot of good cricket in the, in the previous three matches so um, yeah you know we'll be able to train properly on Tuesday which we haven't haven't been able to do in between our last games so um, yeah train hard Tuesday come fresh at Somerset. I guess one of the positives Scott Curry his spell this morning three for 16 and four wickets overall. Yeah, and I think yeah, he was obviously fresh coming into the game. He bowled well. Um, he was unlucky not to have Hash out, bowl well to Hash and Popey during that partnership without any reward. So, um, you know, him and Wheelie, with the, the way we were kind of resting Mo and Abbo as the game went on, they put in a great shift. Um, you know, and Scott picking up those wickets, he deserved that. He bowled well um, and didn't have much luck. So, yeah, that was a positive. And the way Lewis played, he's, you know, been... You know, sacrificed himself a few times in the, the first couple of games, chasing quick runs. Um, had a few decisions go against him as well, so he made a good 30 odd not out and a 50 in the second dig. So, yeah, a couple of small positives, but overall a very disappointing few days. I think you've hinted at it there. A- another positive out of this, you've got an extra day off. Does that give you a bit more hope about Abbott and Abbas being fit for the next one? Yeah, I think that they'll be, you know, they were fit coming into this game. It was only sort of, you know, when we got out there and the fact we've been bowled out for 90, you know, as we kind of had to make early inroads there and they, they got off to a bit of a, a flying start. We know here if you get in, it can be a hard place to, to stop the runs from flowing. So I think they've only bowled 15 overs. So, um, yeah, a big part of that was thinking ahead. So um, confident that they'll be, you know, back to the normal selves come Thursday. Is it just finally, I mean, obviously it's been a great start to the season, but... I guess a lot of people were worried that this has dented the confidence a little bit, such a heavy defeat, but you think everything's okay in the dressing room? Yeah, fine. We had a little chat there. Um, you know, if you look around, most of the counties seem to have had a, a bad game or been bowled out cheaply, so um, I don't know if that's something to do with the, the schedule or, or what, but um, you know, the, the cricket we've played in the first three games, um, obviously this didn't go to plan, but um, we'll pick ourselves up quickly. And you know, we, We've done well against Somerset in, in the last couple of years, so... Um, we'll come back firing, hopefully we'll be back at our best then.